there's so much fear around trans people. There's so much, it's so mysterious kind of, and people are afraid of it. Is part of what you guys, the YouTube thing, trying to make it just more like, it's fucking real regular. Yes, and, and a lot of pe people are afraid of it, but they're more afraid of being penalized for discussing it wrong. They're afraid yeah, of saying right. it wrong. Yeah. They're afraid of saying the wrong. I didn't say cisgender. I'll never yeah, yeah. say cisgender. It's yeah. a made up thing. Yeah. Um, so it's the same length as trans transgender, cisgender. And, and it's like you're losing people by doing that. Yeah. People who are otherwise would be, reasonable. Yes, would are inclined to agree with you. And then they, then they go, well, come talk to us about it. Just so you know, if you say one wrong word, you're a bigot forever. And you yeah. go, boy, this is a horrible way to approach any discussion. It is, and it's not it's not effective, and it's it, and it's also it's the bullshit. least persuasive movement I can think of. Yeah, because it because it's built on look, a lot of trans women have been beaten and killed. Like this yeah. this is such fucking horrible shit that ha it's a really yes. hard life. Like I yeah. um so I understand wanting to be treated with respect and wanting the same rights. Yep. Um, but when it comes down to, if you think some trucker in Ohio is going to call himself a cisgender male, all he's going to do is resent you for expecting yes. you to to tell him to how I identify himself. Right. Now. And it's brand new. It's brand we new. We couldn't do metric. Yeah. We couldn't do metric. How yeah. the fuck do you think? It's like yeah. I have sisters who I still call by their maiden name. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I, and I don't think it makes, we just like what we like and the synapses are what they are. Like, so yeah, the fact that they, I'm glad you're doing that. Cause it, it yeah, of course I, res I literally respect everybody who, yeah. I, but I don't, this thing of like dictating the terms is just like, dude, this is a bad policy. It doesn't, and it does it just doesn't work. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, like you're not going to convince, I mean, I, I love trans people. But I'm I'm telling you, no, I'm not saying that. I'm not yeah. fucking calling myself cisgender. I'm not going down that rabbit hole. I'm not afraid of saying it wrong. I don't care if I say something. The, the, because, and maybe other groups do this as well. I don't think it's just trans people, but it's where here's the ideology. And if you disagree with one point in the handbook, you're Throw an enemy. Away. You're, yep. you're not you're not an ally. You're an enemy. You're immoral. You're, you're a bigot. You're, you're being a bad scolded. Person. Yes. That's another part. Uh, where where they, where a lot of groups have gone wrong. Stop fucking scolding everybody. Yeah. People are sick. It's boring yeah. to be scolded. It's yeah. not effective. You're not breaking me by scolding me. I'm not going to cower and go, you're right, I'm sorry. And a lot of people aren't. And the pushback against it, I thought the Bud Light pushback was silly. Uh, to to yeah, care who's on fake. a beer can yeah. is silly. It yeah. was fake. Um, I don't care who who's on a beverage that I enjoy. Right. Um, you know, I'm happy for Shane that he got it. Good yeah, for Shane. Good for Shane. But the idea of people getting mad, even if you say, "Hey, I don't like Dylan Mulvaney," because they Dylan... recast it with Shane. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, and Shane is probably a better guy to do it. He's more like Bud he Light is brand. The right. He yes, that's they never should have not had Shane. But the fact that they people got so mad saying they're force feeding us ideology, it's like no, they're also just advertising to a new group of people. Like if people are people's self worth, if people's self image is wrapped around the beverage they drink, yeah. then you're an empty nothing motherfucker yeah. of a person. Yes, I'd love Diet Coke. I honest to God don't give a fuck who's associated with Diet Coke. Bill Clinton. Uh, good for Bill Clinton. God bless. I wouldn't care. Epstein. It doesn't matter to me who drinks Diet Coke and yeah. whose picture is on the can. I have zero attachment to it. The Diet Coke's job is to do one thing, make the beverage I like. Yeah. And if they don't, so he I Manwar stop. has a joke about Budweiser. It's like, Bud Light got greedy. They just, they sacrificed their core demo to make 0.0001% more money. <laughs> they were in a board meeting like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. How do we, how do we, how do we make more money? How do we sell more Bud Light? Okay, women don't drink Bud Light, uh, but uh, trans women used to be dudes, so. <laughs> Maybe we can get them to drink Bud Light. That's, that's an untapped demo. How much of a market do you need? Right. It's just greed. It's just greed blowing up in their face. Yeah. I mean, but I don't mind them. I don't mind them reaching out to. No, I don't either. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know. Some, you, you have to get every single market. Or, yeah. How whatever. many people do you need to drink your product? Yeah. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah. Did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.